Bonsoir, mesdames et messieurs. <laughs> Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the Re Bloomfield organ series of our distinguished guest artists. And we have a wonderfully distinguished artist tonight in the person of Philippe Lefebvre, organist of Notre Dame Cathedral in Paris. Per Philippe was born in Lille in the north of France and in 1971 completed his musical studies at the National Superior Conservatory in Paris with prizes in organ, improvisation, counterpoint, and fugue. In 1973, he received the first prize in improvisation at the prestigious Chartres International Organ Competition, Grand Prix de Chartres. In 1976, he was appointed organist of the Cathedral of Chartres. And in 1985, was appointed organist titulaire, which means really the tenured organist of the Cathedral of Notre Dame in Paris, along with Olivier Latry and Jean-Pierre Leguet, a post which he holds today. From 1980 to 2003, Philippe was the director of the National Regional Conservatory in Lille, where he was born. And for a time, he administered the complete staff at Notre Dame Cathedral in Paris, in addition to his duties as organist. He has traveled the world, performing and conducting master classes, and as one of the most stunning people in representing the French organ repertoire. His program tonight is one of improvisation, entirely devoted to improvisation, music of the moment, music of the instant. And you all have a sheet with the themes on it. These themes were chosen yesterday. And in light of the horrible tragedy that happened in France last Friday, these themes reflect the need we have as people not only Americans, but people and the, what we need to have as comfort after this tragedy. The themes are from Easter, the Victime Pascali Laudes, and the Resurrection. Let me give you the translations so it will be easier for you to follow. The first piece that he will improvise is a suite on, uh, as a French classical suite, and the theme is the Victime Pascale Laudis, let Christians offer sacrificial praises to the Passover victims. Then on to the morning at Notre Dame Cathedral, morning service, and as a prelude, he has chosen the Hec Dies Quam Fecit. This is the day the Lord made, let us be glad and rejoice in it, Alleluia theme of resurrection. Then the offertory will be the credo in unum deum, I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, and of all things visible and invisible. The communion will be devoted to the veni creator spiritus. Come Holy Ghost, Holy Spirit, and in our hearts take up thy rest. And the sortie, the postlude, and a theme, the theme that is always played and sung at Notre Dame at, every, at the end of every service, and one that has special resonance today in relation to the victims, and this is for the victims. Hail, Salve Regina, hail, Holy Queen, Mother of Mercy, our life, our sweetness, and our hope. To thee we cry, poor banished children of Eve, to thee do we send up our sighs, mourning and weeping in this valley of tears. Turn then, most gracious advocate, thine eyes of mercy toward us. And after this, our exile, show unto us the blessed fruit of thy womb. O clement, O loving, O sweet Virgin Mary. Ladies and gentlemen, my friend of 43 years, Philippe Lefebvre.
And now, ladies and gentlemen, for the conversation with the artist, please welcome again Philippe Lefebvre. Well, this was like being in Notre Dame, wasn't it? <laughs> Very moving. Uh, a morning in Notre Dame. How different? I have to tell you something because I, I arrived in the United States before the events in Paris. So it's far away here from my country. That's the reason I choose that kind of program because it's the spirit of Paris, especially the spirit of Cathedral Notre Dame, because each Sunday we have the tradition with the choir, with the Gregorian chant, and the great organ speak with the church, speak with the, the choir, with that kind of music. So it was necessary for me to, be, to stay in the atmosphere to stay with my country. How different is it to play an entire concert of improvisation rather than playing just repertoire? Um, it's very special because, because usually I, I don't give a concert with only improvisation. I have very often I have an improvisation at the end of the concert, but only one time a year I have a concert only with improvisation. And it's very different because you must find your way at each second. And for example, if you improvise in the classical style, there is so many rules, so many chords you have to use. So you must be strictly and you must be free in your mind. So it's a good exercise for the brain. Very good. <laughs> and for the and fingers and for the feet. <laughs> yeah. And uh, you know, uh, we have the tradition in France, especially since the Middle Age. Because at that time, the organs arrived in French cathedral around the 12th century. And the first French composer for organ arrived in the 16th century. So during four centuries, the organists only improvise. They have no score. No score was written for organ. So they can make transcription of uh, choir music. And the tradition is to have the great organ in the gallery and the choir in the choir, in the uh, down. And the old tradition is to have the question and the answer the choir and the great organ on that kind of, of uh, repertoire. Yeah. And that's the reason we preserve that tradition since 8th century in Paris. No. And, and Notre Dame is 9 centuries old? The church was built in the 12th century. And the organ arrived at the end of the 12th century. It's not the same organ today, but we have some pipes and some pieces of wood of the primary organ. It's the oldest pipes in the world. In the world? Yeah, the oldest pipe in the world. And are they big? Yeah, big Big ones. or small? Big. 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 <laughs> two meters, that's good. two, three that's meters. That's why they were preserved. Three meters high, three meters Three meters high, high. Yeah. that's great. Yeah. Um, we have been friends yes, for 43 friends. years. Yes. I counted. Yeah. Uh, we, were, we were this high. <laughs> you was a baby. <laughs> Born in the same year, very good year for Bordeaux. But I say that because we met with Pierre Firmin Didot, yes. my husband, yes. and Pierre Cochereau, yes. your mentor and yes. great friend, yes. uh, around the competition in Chartres. Yes. And the Cathedral of Chartres has been uh, a leitmotif, it's been a theme mm -hmm. for both of us in France and in our professional lives. Could you have, for those who don't know, my husband, Pierre Fermadido, was the founder of the great organ competition in Chartres, the Grand Prix de Chartres. And you might have some inter 
anecdotes uh, of, of when you know, knew him before, before the organ was restored in yes, Chartres? Sure. I was uh, a young guy, a student in Paris in the year 68, 69. And uh, each month I visit Pierre Cochereau, the organist in Paris Cathedral. And uh, it was my teacher too, and it was just like my father. And one Sunday, the, there was two ser at that time there was two service at 10 and 11.30. And we arrive at 9.30 to go to the gallery organ. And one someday, it was in 1969, uh, I arrive and Pierre Cochereau told me, here is a, a man, very important because he loves organ and he will take care of the new organ in Charge Cathedral. Oh, I was very impressed because I never heard that there will be a new organ in that cathedral. It, it was two years before the dedication. And uh, Pierre Cochereau uh, uh, told me, and I asked with that man, Pierre Fimadido, it was the first time I saw him, and we have a big idea, a great idea, we want to make a, a special competition for organists. And they decide that on that Sunday. On that Sunday on in that the gallery Sunday, of Notre there, Dame at the organ. I cannot imagine that a few years after I will be a candidate and I cannot imagine the future of my life. At that time, I was only a student, only a student. Only a student, yes, but necessary, necessary. Uh, in that time, they had formed a committee to, for the renovation of mm -hmm. the organ at Chartres, and so it must have been far enough along that they would have been able to s speak about a, forming a competition. And then a summer festival, an association of which you are president, the association of l'association des grandes orgues de Chartres, association of the great organ of Chartres, uh, which my husband founded. Philippe is the president of this association now, and is able to manage yeah. everything. And you know the the reason of that is to support the young musician, to help, especially the organist. A competition is not a fight. It's at first to help young musicians. And there is a lot of competition in many instruments, in organ. And the most important thing is to give the opportunity to many young people to grow up, to have many contact with other students from other country. And that's the reason of that competition. And even if, if you have not the first prize, the level is so high, if you arrive at that competition, you have a good level. And so we help to, them to start in that profession. That's and most that's, why, that's yes. why we continue yeah. with this competition that's so important in, in the world. You are a concert organist, you are a liturgical organist, church organist, and a teacher professor. You've been an, a big administrator. Mm -hmm. But one of the things that I'm sure will interest our audience is that you don't live in Paris now. You live in the southwest of France. So how do you get there? Oh, uh, Helicopter. No. During a long time, I, I, I stay in the north of France because I am born in the north of France, not far from Belgium. And I was the director of a conservatory of music in the north of Paris at the city Lille, it's the main city in the north of Paris, during 25 years. <clears throat> and uh, in around the year 2003, I decided to stop that and to have more time for organ concert. But something arrived, the next Sunday I have, I decide that, I go to the Cathedral Notre Dame, and the first ministry told me, I know you will leave your job in the north of France. It's a good news for us because we need you for the administration of the cathedral. Wow. The whole, all the staff. All not the staff. The not the clergy. Not only, not only, not the, not, not only the music. <laughs> so it was a special experience. And I can tell you, during, I, 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 I made that job during 10 years. 10 years. And, and I have the opportunity to have in the cathedral your president, 
Mr. Obama, the First Lady, the children, grandma, because when President Obama came for a commemoration of the Second War, the week before, the French embassy, the American embassy in Paris, phoned to Notre Dame and they, she told uh, Mr. Obama want to come in Notre Dame for a private visit, private, non-official. I have to organize that. <laughs> uh, With Secret I, I Service and everything all the that thing, it entails. But it was very interesting for a musician to speak, for example, with the Secret Service of White House. It's a very interesting experience <laughs> for a musician. It doesn't happen all the and, time. Uh, and uh, they, come, they came on a Saturday evening, I remember, only the family, very private, non, no French politician was there. It's only the family. And they stay one hour. One hour. One hour is a very long time for a president. And they were so kind. They pray in the church, really. I they saw what? that. They, yes. And I remember the, the children, they asked to go up the towers to see Paris from the towers. And they went there. And they went up yeah, there. Yes. It was a very, very nice event for me. <laughs> Those are experiences that you have as uh, a musician in Notre Dame because it's, uh, it's the Cathedral of the Republic. Mm -hmm. And whenever there are special ceremonies, yes. uh, that, that's what happens there. The, the um, funerals of the President. presidents of yes. the Republic. Yes. And. Um, special ceremonies. Do you have any anecdotes of that? I know you do. <laughs> Sometimes we are afraid because when we have that kind of ceremony, we think uh, it's too many people because in the church we have 3,000 people who they can of service. So we have to organize many things and uh, you can imagine the security is, a, is very important. And I remember it was for the uh, service f after the death of the President François Mitterrand, uh, something like 12 years ago. And I played uh, that service, and I, during the preludium, I was alone at the gallery organ. I was alone. Very high up, for those of it's you who have not It's very high, been, because yes. it's at six, six, six stories? 16, 16 meters high 16. from the floor. And uh, how I, I was playing, and there is a, to come to the gallery organ. You play like this, and the door is here. And I hear somebody, somebody op opens the door. I didn't know what happens? And I continue because it was necessary for me to play. And I turn the, my hand, and I saw two dogs. <laughs> Two big dogs. Two big dogs. <laughs> and they came in the pedal keyboard <laughs> to... <laughs> and I was like this. <laughs> and only after the two dogs came to shoulder, it was a security so service. <laughs> Incredible things. American or French? French. 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 So next uh, next concert, I think I will come with a cat. Meow. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. Just a few words about the composers, the French composers that we have known in the time in the late the 70s and 80s uh, that we knew: Jean Langlais, mm -hmm. Gaston Littes, Maurice Duruflet. Mm -hmm. Who was the most important for you? For me, the most important was Maurice Duriflet because he was my teacher at the conservatory in Paris in the year 71. Uh, I have the chance to have that great musician as a professor in harmony. And it was the last year he teach in the conservatory. I'm very lucky. And uh, I remember something about his music for organ because uh, sometimes uh, when we, was, we were only 
a few students in the class, we can speak more free. And I ask Maurice de Riflet, we need to have more piece for organ from you. We have, you have composed only a few, a few pieces. And the organists, they love your music and we want to have more. And he told me, no. <laughs> My time is over. I, when I listen on the radio, the music of the time, I think my time is over. It was very sad to hear that. And uh, another, another uh, thing is, it doesn't like a piece composed for organ. It's a toccata of the suite. His it, own toccata. Yeah, of, it's his own toccata he, he, he composed for organ. And it, it, it doesn't like that piece. And it, it, it didn't want that the people play that. Yes, but we never, we don't know why he didn't like well, it. it he, I don't know why. And, and, his, his, and his, his wife. His wife, Marie Madeleine, had never played that piece in a concert. He I wouldn't think. let her practice yes. it. She would try it on their apartment organ, yeah. on a Bourdon 8, and he'd immediately appear yeah. and say, stop it, yes. stop. And when I get the first prize in the conservatory in Paris, in the year 71, when you get, at that time, there was a society in France Les Amis de l'Orgue, it's the name of that society, who, of who uh, invited the, the guy or the girl who won the first prize in the conservatory each year. And they, we have to give a concert in Paris. It, wow, wow. Because the first concert you give in Paris and in the church there is Langlais, Littes, Marshall, all the organist of Paris came to hear the young organist. Winners, yes. And at that concert, I decided to Where play. Where was it? It was in the L'Oratoire du Louvre, oh. yes. And I decided to play the, the suite of Du Rouflet, three oh. piece. And that suite finished with the toccata. And when the concert was finished, Maurice Du Rouflet was at the concert. And he came to visit to tell me, your concert was very good, except the toccata. <laughs> you, 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 it's not a lot to play that piece. <laughs> Incredible <laughs> to hear a composer who don't want to play that music. Incredible. And he even wrote a second ending. Mm -hmm. Just two words about the, your second half of the program. You were yes. playing a variations mm -hmm. on a... Uh, a tune, a popular tune? I chose an old French uh, song. It's a very popular song. It's very lovely music, very tonal music. And because I think it's fresh. And we, ah, need, la Claire Fontaine. we need fresh in the present time. Ah, I think we need we sing? something clear and something with happiness. We yes, yes, yes. And then ending with B-A-C-H. B-A-C-H is a for a musician, especially for an organist, it's the top with that music, that composer. It's, it's uh, in the humanity, we cannot make something without Bach. And, and the four notes of B, A, C, A are so interesting because a lot of composers use that four keys to have very interesting piece. Yes, so very it's a challenge for me. And a wonderful way to end your concert. Thank you. Thank you very, very much. Thank you.